We go on a journey through the streets of Kyiv to see how the city lives after a massive missile attack. It is March 2024 and the war in Ukraine continues. This is the 758th day since Ukraine fought a heroic battle against the Russian aggressor. On 21st March 2024, a massive rocket attack on Ukraine took place. Russian troops committed yet another act of terror against the civilian population of Ukraine by launching a massive missile attack on Kyiv's civilian infrastructure. At around 1 a.m. Kyiv time, nine Tu-95 bombers took off from the Olenya airfield in the Murmansk region. The first missiles entered Ukrainian airspace at 4 in the morning. It later emerged that a Kinjal air-to-ground ballistic missile and a KN-23, a North Korean-made tactical ballistic missile, had been launched. In total, 31 missiles were launched, 29 cruise missiles and two ballistic missiles. The targets were residential areas and infrastructure facilities in the capital. The Ukrainian air defense system demonstrated its high efficiency by shooting down all missiles flying towards Kyiv. The targets of the missile attacks were the city of Kyiv and the Kyiv region. Thanks to the professionalism of our defenders, human casualties were avoided, but there was some damage. Fragments from the downed missiles damaged high-rise residential buildings and smashed windows in nearby houses. The occupiers continue to cynically use terrorist methods of warfare to intimidate the civilian population of Ukraine. Another rocket terror of the occupiers hit the St. Nicholas Church in Tatarka, also known as the Chernobyl Church. An explosion crater was created near the church and missile fragments tore through the walls, smashing windows and doors. The crucifix and icons were damaged. This event deeply affected the faithful, as the church is not only a place of prayer, but also a symbol of the memory of the victims of the Chernobyl tragedy. It is said that the damage to the crucifix and icons is a bad omen, a sign of trouble to come. From a religious point of view, it can be a warning of God's wrath or misfortune. There are many examples in history where damage to religious symbols has actually been a harbinger of important historical events. For example, the fall of the Patriarchate of Constantinople in 1453 foreshadowed the decline of the Byzantine Empire and the destruction of the Statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro in 2010 presaged a series of natural disasters. The question arises, will the damage to St. Nicholas's be a harbinger of new tragedies in Russia? As far as Russia is concerned, it is already experiencing a tragedy. Its war against Ukraine is a crime against humanity that will never be forgiven. Russia has already lost thousands of its soldiers and its economy is in decline. Russia's isolation from the international community will only increase, leading to even greater problems. Therefore, the real tragedy of Russia is its own imperialist course, which is leading it to self-destruction. People have many legends about the destruction and damage of religious symbols. Many of them tell of a curse that supposedly falls on people who are guilty of such acts. These legends show that it is important to treat religious symbols with respect. Do you believe in such legends?
Let us know what you think in the comment section of this video.